All right, part three. This is the last part here, I think, with the elemental deep dive. So I wanted to show you like how, to, how we could visualize this in real world Earth, right? And so here is element number 60, right? It, uh, it scratches up stuff. Element number 60, right? It's a neodymium magnet. So go look up the periodic table, right? Look at the, look at the structure of it, right? Spoiler alert, it's a hexagon. <laughs> right, how do I know? So check this out. So this is, you may have seen this on, you probably can't see it on the YouTube channel uh, uh, icon page. But, but this is a photograph that I took of the neodymium magnet. Right? And this may even give us kind of an introduction into isotopes. Maybe, I don't know what those are but this is the kind of the what happens so you take your ferro fluid put it in a little wine glass and then and then slow like and and you, you the whole thing will become spikes and you go oh look at all those spikes they're everywhere but then you just one drop at a time start adding a little isopropyl alcohol and then you kind of stir it around don't mix it, you know, with it just, just kind of like a wine glass, you know, you're just spit, moving it around very gently. And you'll start to see now that the surface tension will break down, right? And so, so over here where there used to be all these spikes, the spikes are now like subdued somehow, right? They can't really break through. They're not strong enough to break through. But the only ones that are, so you get to a certain point where after a few drops, this thing will auto you'll start to see it self-organize. And, and no matter what, and no matter what I did with the magnet or different, every time I would just leave it there and come back and it would organize into this shape. And I go, oh, look at this. Let's see if we, <laughs> see if we can draw some cool shapes on this. Like, what is it, right? So we see initially two, three, four, five, six. So it's a hexagon, right? And if you go look up neodymium, and you look at its structure, right? It organizes uh, into a hexagon. And here, like, like we've seen from hydrogen all the way through, right? Let's count up these dots, right? So this hexagon has one, two, three, four, five. And then on this side, sharing this one, one, two, three, four, five, right? And then the shares one, two, three, four, five. Right, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So it's six sided hexagon. And then on each side, uh, there's five dots. Right, you could even start drawing like three dimensional shapes in this thing, making cubes, right? This kind of thing. Uh, uh, or we can just count them up. If we look at it like this one, two, three, four, five, and then the next line has one, two, three, four, five, six. So five plus six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so five, and then six, and then a row of seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, a row of eight. And then here in the middle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, I would say that this isn't quite a full nine, right? That one's kind of weak, but <laughs> you'll see why, right? And then it counts back down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So it goes five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, right? Put the five up here so you can see it, <laughs> right? So it counts down. So you add all that up and what's it equal? 61. You go, whoa. Neodymium is element number 60. What's element number 61? <laughs> it's called Permethium, right? Based off of, I guess you go look at the movie Prometheus or go Google Prometheus or Prometheum. And this concept of Prometheus is like the origins of human life, right? So we have just photographed, you would think Prometheum, right? But Prometheum, it says, is like radioactive. You don't... You know, it only exists in these certain weird states. So, it, you know, discovered. But, but neodymium, well, that's right here. And this is what was underneath, right, of the ferrofluid to make this beautiful shape. So coincidence? I think not. 
Let's go just one step further. So here's a photograph. So instead of the magnet sitting like this with one of its poles, so it's oriented where, where let's say that's the north and that's the south or vice versa, it doesn't really matter. So if we were to put the magnet on its side like this, right? And that's what's happening here. Check that out, right? So that's, now we're trying to visualize a magnet on its side. You can see that blotch wall. Right? This is the blotch wall that might look like an eyeball, but this is the wine glass, right? The top of the wine because I'm, I'm photographing and you can see the reflection of my iPhone right here with the flash. So that's what that light is. So the magnet sitting like this, right? You see, look at that. Look at that beautiful. Now this is the blotch wall, right? These are the points, right? So if we were to look at it uh, from this picture here, you're, you're going to be seeing, right? These are the spikes like this on these ends. You can see them. Uh, right, you can see they spike up. And these are the spikes that we see. And you can see they curve back around. But they're heading into that blotch wall. They're heading into that blotch wall. Look at that thing. Right, just... Right, and here's another look at it. So this was leaving the magnet sitting there all day, kind of perfectly centered on its side. Right, but... but you had to leave it there for a little while to really make sure you got it good. And so this one, <laughs> the magnet rolled over because it's on its side like this, right? And the magnet actually rolled too close to this side of the cup. So you couldn't see this, this hyperbole form, <laughs> but you could really see it form down here, right? Because so it's a magnet's literally sitting just like this, right? Uh, and if we zoom in on that, um, it, oh, it's it's surreal, right? There's the spikes coming out, right? If we were to look at, like, these are the spikes that are sitting on this end of it, like that, right? Isn't this on one of the planets, <laughs> the shape? So, so that just shows you magnetic field, right? The blotch wall, you can see my iPhone there in the center, no flash. Right, this was in kind of the sunlight. This was, again, in the sunlight. Um, but look at that, neodymium. So we're seeing, I think what we're seeing here is, just like we've proven here, right? If we go to element number 60 and you look it up and you see that it makes this hexagon, simple hexagon, there they are. And this simple hexagon uh, uh, has 61. So this is where I said, well, maybe, you know, these numbers are all nice and even, but as you get up there, Maybe this is the 61 dielectric lines of force that we have taken out of counter space and terminated into space, right? In the form of this element, neodymium. Now, there's probably some, um, you know, chromium on the outside just so it doesn't tarnish, right? Go read about neodymium. Neodymium. Thanks for watching.